Out of some disturbing allegations in Carrollton, a Parker Chase preschool is facing a lawsuit tonight after a daycare worker allegedly left bruises on a little boy. The lawsuit implies this may not have been an isolated incident. Cindy Percy just spoke with the toddler's mother and she's here in studio with what she heard. Well, Chris, this mom says her son is traumatized and she showed us photos of the alleged abuse. There are more than a dozen bruises visible on her three year old's bottom. We can't show you those photos, but she begs you to listen to her story. Tonight, Parker Chase Preschool in Carrollton hit with a lawsuit by one of its former families. <sighs> Vanessa Ippolito sued the school where her three-year-old once attended and its parent company, Endeavor Schools, and the woman who taught her son, Naomi Reyes. They were supposed to protect him. In their lawsuit, Vanessa and her husband claimed Reyes physically abused their three-year-old son. That one night in March 2023, Vanessa went to give him a shower. And I um, undressed him and I... Uh, I discovered these bruises all over his bottom. Reyes was eventually criminally charged for injury to a child, but Ippolito says she was never contacted by anyone at Parker Chase, even after the arrest. The response was absolutely abysmal. Her attorney, Noah McCathern, said to me and in their lawsuit, to the best of their knowledge, Endeavor and Parker Chase still have not accepted responsibility for the incident or even informed parents of the ongoing criminal charges placed against Miss Naomi Reyes. If you pay for someone to guard your kid and to educate them, then you have to guard and educate them. Endeavor and Parker Chase did not respond to our specific questions, but they did tell WFAA in a statement through a PR firm, we first learned about the family's concern when we were contacted by their attorney. At that point, we reported the matter immediately to the appropriate authorities and have given our full cooperation to them as they have investigated. We placed the teacher on administrative leave and ultimately dismissed her. Vanessa said she is sharing her pain so publicly. Because I want my son to know that I did try to protect him. And I would hate for any parent that lives in my community to ever go through this. WFAA spoke to Reyes on the phone and informed her of our interview with Ippolito. When we asked for a comment, she said she would get back with us, but never did. In Carrollton, I'm Sydney Persing.